everyone, Jordan Roberts here with Racer X today. Uh, we're here at Monster Mountain in Alabama for the highly anticipated 2014 Yamaha YZ250F media intro. We got to give huge thanks for Yamaha to having us out here today. Um, we're going to be giving you a little bit of our opinion today on the bike, just as uh, Scott Champion did with the pre-production intro. Um, but first, we're going to touch on some basic features and then uh, let the Yamaha guys dig into some of the tech specs for you. So we are here with Yamaha's Steve Butler. Uh, Steve, what's your job at Yamaha? Actually, I work in the testing division at Yamaha Motor, and I've been with, involved with the development of the, the YZ250 for a few years now. And uh, you guys basically said everything is brand new on this bike. This is a totally different bike. Well, it'll probably be easier to list the items that haven't been changed, which is a pretty small list of the front, front fender, front number plate, the wheels, perhaps the brakes. but. Really, it is an all-new machine, a you know, completely new engine, which is uh, certainly the, the focus point of especially a 250 machine where uh, power is everything. And uh, what might some uh, consumers familiar with the 2013 model, what might they first notice when they come up to this bike? Well, of course, what we learned from the YZ450, we found that uh, you know, the front intake, rear exhaust layout was uh, very positive for engine power especially on a 250 where uh, the engine's running at higher RPM. So, so we didn't just uh, put fuel injection on the previous layout. We feel like it was at the end of its uh, development cycle. And uh, starting with uh, the front intake, we can keep the, the intake. It's a downdraft, straight uh, intake with symmetrical ports. And uh, it has much more potential, especially for uh, future development through its, uh, through its development cycle. Are these bikes already in dealerships for people to go and check out? Yeah, they are actually. So I know riders all over the world have been waiting. And uh, yes, right now they're in dealers. And um, yeah, straight out of the crate, 40 horsepower at the rear wheel. So I think everyone will be very excited to, uh, to ride these bikes here today. I came into this bike intro as an intermediate rider and honestly haven't had a whole lot of seat time before this intro. We have pro riders normally do these tests, Scott Champion in our pre-production intro. We'll also have a handful of pro riders at the Racer X 250 shootout later this month, but hopefully I'll be able to relate to the average rider a little bit better than a guy that can go out and just really scrub some Supercross triples. First off, I had a good overall impression with the new 250. The electronic fuel ignition is something we've all been waiting for, and Yamaha finally gave it to us. The power delivery was smooth as expected, and it's really great to see Yamaha finally jump that hurdle. As a guy that doesn't get to ride every day and gets arm pump and well, a rather depressing amount of time. I'm a big fan of the rubber handlebar mounts and the triple clamp. It did dampen some of the vibrations I felt over the braking bumps and going into corners, but the track was relatively smooth, so I didn't really get to push that test to the limits. I like the new gas tank on the bike, not for what it was on the track, but how it performs off. Most of us are our own mechanics, so working on the bike is as much part of it as riding it is. There's a rear mount on the gas tank that allows the owner to remove the front mounts and swing it back over. Uh, roughly where the seat is to get overhead access to the engine and throttle body without really having to remove the fuel line or anything major. I'm a big fan of things that are relatively easy to work on. Again, I was pleased with the bike overall and I'm really glad Yamaha gave us a chance to ride it this week. Stay tuned to see what the pros have to say later this month in our Racer X250 shootout. Thank mm -hmm. you.